going to discuss with you about inheritance. So what do you mean by inheritance? This is one more important OOPS concept. Basically Java is based on the object oriented programming systems. So Java language is based on the OOPS concept that is object oriented programming systems. That is everything is based on classes and objects. What do you mean by inheritance? Inheritance is one important OOPS concept. Whenever a child class inherits the property of the parent class, then this concept is called as inheritance. So I am going to inherit, a child is going to inherit the property of his parent. So when a child class inherits the property of a parent class, this concept is called as inheritance. I have different types of inheritance. One is called as a single inheritance. One more is called as a multi-level inheritance. And third one is called as a hierarchical inheritance. I have different types of inheritance. The first one is called as a single inheritance. The second one it is called as a multi-level. Whenever a sequence of inheritance, when a child class inherits the parent class and another child class, whenever a sequence of inheritance or chain of inheritance happens, then this concept is called as multi-level inheritance. And I have one more type of inheritance, it is called as hierarchical inheritance. So all these are the different types of inheritance. So based on my requirement, whatever type of I am developing, so accordingly I can use different types of inheritance. Inheritance. From the term you can just understand, what do you mean by single inheritance? When a single child class inherits the property of a parent class. So class B, this is one child class, when it inherits the property of class A, then this concept is called as single inheritance. By multi-level inheritance. So whenever a chain of inheritance, for example, class B inherits class A and class, class B, when a sequence of inheritance or chain of inheritance happens, this concept is called as multi-level inheritance. And there is one more type of inheritance, it is called as hierarchical inheritance. When more than one child class, it inherits the property of a single parent class, then this concept is called as hierarchical inheritance. So clear with this, so all these are the different types of inheritance. So one is called as a single inheritance, second one is called as a multi-level inheritance, and the third one is called as a hierarchical inheritance. So this is one simple example. So whenever I want to define any new class, I am using the class keyword followed by the name of the class. And inside this, I am initializing this variable. Say for example, float salary equal to whatever is the data type. So this is the variable name. It is prepended by the corresponding data type. So I can go for different data types. It is prepended by the corresponding data type. So float salary equal to, so how much is the salary? So first I am just initializing this salary. So and then again I am defining a new class. So whenever I want to define any new class, I am using the class keyword followed by the name of the class. So class programmer it is extending this employee class and inside this I am initializing this bonus. So in bonus equal to, so whatever is the bonus value, I am just initializing this bonus value. And I am writing this main method. So public static void main, the argument is passed as a string R. Always the JVM comes in, the program execution starts from the main method. Programmer P equal to new programmer of, for example, the salary of the programmer is P dot salary. And bonus of the programmer is B, P dot bonus. Here with this, so whatever is the programmer's salary and programmer's bonus, so this will be printed at my output. Here with this, so what do you mean by this? So whenever a parent class, so what is the purpose of this inheritance? Java comes under high level programming language. So what makes this programming language so very powerful? I have different 
can go for python language why i need to go for this java language so what makes this programming language so very powerful as i was telling you right so i have different types of oops concept inheritance so all this results in smarter coding or simpler coding for example class programmer it is going to extend the parent class called employee class and inside this i am just initializing this bonus value so in bonus equal to for example i am just initializing the value of 10000 So and then I am defining a main method, public static void main. The argument is passed as a stringer. So always the JVM comes in. The program execution starts from the main method. So whenever I am going to use the extends keyword, the child class, it can it can inherit the property of the parent class. So class programmer it is extending the parent class employee class, and then I am initializing this bonus in bonus equal to ten thousand. and then i'm defining a main method public static void main the argument is passed as a stringer so always the jvm comes in the program execution starts from the main method so programmer p equal to for example new programmer of for example p dot salary i'm just initializing the salary and bonus this printed at my output clear with this so what is the use of this inheritance concept so whenever a single child class it is the property of a single parent class then this concept is called as the inheritance concept so float salary i am just initializing the salary with the value of 10000 and public class programmer it is going to extends this employee class and inside this i am coming inside so for example i am initializing a bonus value all right so whenever this is a child class whenever a child class it wants to use the parent class properties and the corresponding methods using extends keyword i need to extend this parent class so employee is my parent class name so whenever a child class it wants to use the properties of the parent class i am just using this extends keyword clear with this so i am just using this extends keyword extends employee class and in bonus equal to for example i'm having some bonus value and inside this i am defining a main method public static void main the argument is passed as a stringer string of space arj so always the jvm comes in the program execution starts from the main method so firstly i am just initializing this bonus va value so in bonus equal to for example i am just giving here as 1000 So and then I am coming inside. So public static void main the argument is passed as a stringer. So always the JVM comes in the program execution starts from the main method. Clear with this? And inside this main method, so whatever I want to type in, for example, I am just initializing this boner by uh, a variable and programmer. Say for example, I am just initializing this programmer p equal to new programmer of.
Here with this, so whenever I want to create an object of this child class type, so programmer, this is my child class. I am creating an object of this child class type. So whenever I need to create an object of this child class type, so I am using the new keyword followed by this programmer. So system dot out dot print ln. For example, I am just giving here. So I am just initializing this salary. For example, whatever is the salary, I am just initializing this salary. And system dot out dot print ln. For example, I am just initializing this bonus value. Say for example, p dot bonus. Clear with this? So, how I am initializing this salary? So, what is the main purpose of going for this inheritance? So, employee, whenever I am developing some application, you can imagine. So, I am discussing with you about different types of OOPS concepts. So, what is the main purpose of going for this inheritance? So, whenever a single child class, it inherits the property of a parent class. For example, you can use the methods and the variables inside my parent class. So whenever I want to create any new class, I am using the class keyword followed by the name of the class. And inside this, I am initializing the salary. For example, float salary equal to 10,000. And class, whatever is the name of the class, it is just extending this parent class. So, whenever a child class, it wants to use the parent class property using extends keyword, I am just extending this parent class. And inside this, I am initializing this variable in bonus equal to 1000. So, public static void mean the argument is passed as a string array. So, always the JVM comes in, the program execution starts from the main method. So, programmer p equal to new programmer. For example, I am trying to create an object of this programmer class and system dot out dot print ln. So, and p dot bonus, this will be printed at my output. So, you can just see here. So, whenever you are going to develop any application, so you can imagine under what circumstances I need to go for this inheritance concept, under what circumstances I need to go for overloading or overriding. So, I am going to discuss with you about different types of concepts. So, what is the main purpose of going for this inheritance? And still I am going to discuss with you about some more concepts. So, what is the main purpose of going for inheritance? What is the main purpose of going for polymorphism? So, I have different types of polymorphism. So, I can go for method overloading or I can go for method overriding. I am going to discuss with you what is the main use of different types of OOPS concepts. So, I can go for polymorphism or what is the main purpose of going for this inheritance? So whenever I have an employee inside an organization, for example, you can consider a corporate company. So what are all the different people? Uh, he will have an admin person, he will have a sales person and some other people. For example, there will be a programmer, an analyst, a business analyst. So each and every type of people, he is going to have some salary. I am just initializing this variable. So float salary equal to 10,000. And again, whenever I want to define uh, the entire programming language, Java programming language, it is based on classes and objects. So whenever I want to define any new class, I am using the class keyword followed by the name of the class. So it is just extending this employee, it is prepended by the public access modifier. And in bonus equal to 1000, for example, I am just initializing this bonus uh, value. So, bonus equal to 1000. So, and then I am coming inside public static void main. The argument is passed as a stringer. Always the JVM comes in. 
the program execution starts from the main method Programmer P equal to new programmer of. I am trying to create an object of the style class type. Using the style class object, whenever I want to create any object, so using this programmer space P equal to new programmer of. I am trying to create an object of this style class type. And using the style class object P dot salary. So I can access the parent class property that is members as well as the child class members. So p dot salary and p dot bonus this will be printed at my output. So the first one is a single inheritance. So the second type of inheritance is multi-level and the third one is the hierarchical inheritance. So what do you mean by single inheritance? The first type of inheritance is the single inheritance and the second one is the multi-level inheritance. So what do you mean by this multi-level inheritance? So whenever a chain of inheritance or sequence of inheritance happens this concept is called as the multi level inheritance say for example whenever i want to define any new class i am using the class keyword followed by the name of the class So void eat method system dot out dot print ln so eating will be printed at the output and class dog it is just extending this animal class. So inside this I am defining a method called bark method and system dot out dot print ln barking this will be printed at the output. And again there is one more class baby dog it is just extending this dog class. So you can see what is the, from the term you can just understand. So what do you mean by this multi-level inheritance? So whenever a chain of inheritance or sequence of inheritance happens, then this concept is called as the multi-level inheritance. For example, I am calling this method called weep method. So system.out.println weeping, this will be printed at the output. So class test inheritance too. So public static void main. So always the JVM comes in. The program execution starts from the main method. So baby dog D equal to new baby dog of. So I am trying to create an object of this baby dog. And D dot B method bark and then eat method. Clear with this? So what do you mean by this multi-level? So dog class it is extending this animal class and baby dog it is just extending this dog class. So whenever a chain of inheritance or sequence of inheritance happens this concept is called as multi-level inheritance. Clear with this, so what do you mean by single inheritance? What do you mean by multi-level inheritance? And there is one more type of inheritance. It is called as hierarchical inheritance. So let me just explain you about this. So I am just trying to create a new example. Mm -hmm. 
whenever so whenever i want to define any new class i am using the class keyword followed by the name of the class and inside this i am defining a method called eat method system dot out dot print ln so eating will be printed at the output and class dog method it is just extending this animal class so void bark method so system dot out dot print ln so barking this will be printed at the output so whenever i want to define you can just see here so the dog class it is extending this animal class and class baby dog it is just extending this dog class so i'm uh, inside this i'm writing a method called beep method and system dot out dot print ln so beeping this will be printed at the output and inside this whenever i want to define any new class i am using the class keyword followed by the name of the class it is prepended by the public access modifier so i can go for different types of access modifiers it is prepended by the public access modifier so i am just defining the main method so public static void main the argument is passed as a string or always the jvm comes in the program execution starts from the main method so i am trying to create an object of this baby dog so new baby dog of so d dot b using this you can just see here whenever a chain of inheritance or sequence of inheritance happens this concept is called as multi level inheritance clear with the so what do you mean by there is one more type of inheritance is called as the hierarchical inheritance so when more than one child class it inherits the property of a single parent class this concept is called as the hierarchical inheritance so whenever i want to define any new class i am using the class keyword followed by the name of the class so inside this i am defining a method called fly method and system tell and birds are flying for example class parrot it is extending this bird class and void screech method so system dot out dot print tell and parrot so screeching so class peacock it is extending this bird class and void scream method when more than one child class it inherits the property of a single parent class this concept is called as the hierarchical inheritance so public static void main the argument is passed as a string or always the jvm comes in the program execution starts from the main method so public static void main the argument is passed as a string or i am trying to create an object of this peacock class peacock c equal to new peacock of so c dot scream method and fly method so i am just calling this scream method and fly method clear with this so this is one simple example of going for hierarchical inheritance if you are interested you can register for one month internship on java programming registration fee comes around 1500 rupees and after discount it comes around 799 rupees once you are going to register for this internship so you will be getting 30 days of live sessions 90 days of access to the records and you will be uh, getting all the downloadable presentations and you will be getting a internship certification
you can register for one month internship on java programming once you are going to register so the registration fee comes around 1500 rupees and after discount the fee comes around 799 rupees you will be getting 30 days of live sessions you will be getting access to all the records so you will be getting all the downloadable presentations So there are different types of inheritance. I can go for single inheritance. I can go for multi-level inheritance. And there is one more type of inheritance. It is called as a hierarchical inheritance. So example inherit one. So I am just clicking the finish button. So this is one simple example whenever I want to define any new class I am using the class keyword followed by the name of the class and inside this I am defining a method called fly method and system.out.println for example births or fly. So class parrot it is extending this bird class and void screech method. So system.out.println parrots was screeching and whenever I want to define any new class, I am using the class keyword followed by the name of the class. It is extending. For example, when more than one child class, it inherits the property of a single parent class. This concept is called as the hierarchical inheritance. So inside this I am defining a method called scream method and system.out.println peacock is screaming. So whenever I want to define any new class I am using the class keyword followed by the name of the class. It is prepended by the public access modifier. So peacock, I am trying to create an object of this peacock class, new peacock of p1.fly method and p1.scream method. Clear with this, so what do you mean by this hierarchical inheritance? So I have more than one child class. So all birds can fly, they can have some common characteristics. So whenever I have some common characteristics, so I can this class bird. So parrot is a kind of bird and peacock is also another type of bird. So both these birds can fly. So it all results. There is no need to write this fly method again and again. Once I am going to define this uh, fly method in the parent class, it can be reused in any of these type classes. So this concept is called as hierarchical inheritance. When more than one child class, it inherits the property of a single parent class then this concept is called as hierarchical inheritance. So clear with this. So so far I was uh, discussing with you about inheritance. So what are all the different types of inheritance? I have single inheritance, I have multi-level inheritance and then I have hierarchical inheritance. So the next important OOPS concept is the polymorphism. Methods can take more than one form so it can be achieved by method overloading and method overriding. 
what do you mean by this overloading concept so whenever a single method it is overloaded to i am providing i am burdened with some excess functionality so i am doing a work here i am over some additional work at my house in such case i can go for this overloading concept similarly methods can be overloaded so providing the same method it can behave differently in different scenarios so i can achieve this by changing the number of the data type of the arguments clear with this so what do you mean by this method overloading so it is one form of polymorphism so it can be achieved by changing the number of arguments or by changing the data type of the arguments So with this, I am just stopping this video. If you are interested, you can register for one month internship on Java programming. The registration fee comes around thousand five hundred rupees, and after discount, it comes around seven nine nine rupees. Once you are going to register for this internship, so you'll be getting thirty days of live sections, ninety days of access to records, source codes, downloadable presentations. Remaining things I will just continue in my next class